subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications of triangle now here we shall find the area of our given triangle from the beginning syllabus of primary level we have uh, calculated that area of a triangle yeah, area of triangle that gives a equal half into base into height it means that now here let see here in figure number one a b c is a triangle in this triangle as given this is height and this a and b is base from if given all thing if height and base is given then we can easily find the area of triangle from our formula from our formula given us a equal half into base into height in this formula we can say that a means area b means base and height means height but if confusion given if height is not given base is not uh, identified then we have we will face problem in finding area of a triangle so in finding area of a triangle especially for secondary level some of the formula c here used to find the area of a triangle now area of triangle formula key point from beginning we can see again here figure one here given triangle a b c in this triangle h is given height of triangle and b is base from this triangle we can easily find that area equal a equal half base into height and its perimeter perimeter means sum of all side that is p equal a b plus b c plus a c here a this a b plus b c plus a c sum of all sides gives our perimeter here in formula p is perimeter a b is side b c and a c all side sum of all sides gives perimeter of a triangle same thing also see here here given also in next figure a b c is next triangle next triangle in which uh, side and base side is given but base and height is unidentified so in this triangle we have to calculate we have to find the area it will be problem facing so to find the area of this triangle to find the area of this triangle we have to use some new formula formula a here a gives a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c it says that here s s is semi perimeter semi perimeter equal p equal to p upon 2 equal p we know that p equal a plus b plus c or semi perimeter gives semi perimeter equal p upon 2 equal a plus b plus c upon 2 this gives our s s means semi perimeter here a b c are sides of triangle here given a is b c b is a c and c is a b in this way using this formula using this formula we can easily find the area of triangle if base and height is unknown is not given if base and height of any triangle is not given only side is given then to find the area of such triangle we will easily find that a equal s s minus a s minus b s minus c this gives area of a triangle in this way we see sum of problem and its solution using this formula and we easily know that perimeter perimeter always gives the sum of all sides here p equal a plus b plus c subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications here, given us question 233 upon a given here find the area of triangle given in adjoining figure adjoining figure this is our adjoining figure in this given here a b c is a triangle in which sides are 18 centimeter 15 centimeter and 12 centimeter from this triangle we have to find the area to find area c beginning we have discussed about the formula given here sides are ab ab is equal to 15 centimeter ac 12 centimeter and equal b and cb equal 18 centimeter by formula we know that by formula we know that ss equal a plus b plus c upon 2 or we can also say that 
AB plus AC plus CB upon 2. Here comes equal 15 plus 12 plus 18 upon 2. Equal comes here 22.5 centimeter. After getting the value of S, we have to apply formula. Here, area of triangle given here, area of triangle, triangle ABC equal root under S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Equal here, we get the value of S. Here, we get the value of S. Here, 22.5 centimeter and side is already given here. 18, 15 and 2 bell. So, we shall use this all the value of sides in formula using this value of S. Semi perimeter, we can also show that semi perimeter gives here in place of S, we shall put 22.5, 22.5 minus 22.5 minus 18 centimeter, 22.5 minus 2 by centimeter, second side, and 22.5 minus 15 centimeter, third side. In this way, once applying this, we can easily calculate. Now equal root under 22.5 into 4.5 here subtraction after subtracting 18 from 22.5 comes here 4.5 here 22.5 2 is subtracted from 22.5 comes here 7.5 and here 22.5 minus 15 comes here 10.5 after multiplication of all and rooting comes here 89.29 centimeter answer it is our required area of triangle. It means we can we find here area of triangle, area of triangle this, triangle A, B, C, we got here 89.29 centimeter square and it is our required answer. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. We can see here more triangles, more problems. Problem number 233 upon B given here find the area of triangle having its sides 4.5 cm, 3.5 cm and 6 cm. We can assume this in figure here. Given here triangle A, B, C in which sides given here sides comes here 4.5 cm, 6 cm, 3.5 cm. Now given here sides A equal 4.5 cm, B equal 3.5 cm and c equal 6 centimeter we know that as s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 this is our formula and from formula we can easily calculate that's a a, a b c all sides have been given here so we can easily find the value of s here comes 4.5 plus 3.5 plus 6 all sides sum of all sides 4.5 plus 3.5 plus 6 all upon 2 comes here equal 7 centimeter now, once getting the value of S, we will put in next formula. See here, our next formula is now area of triangle A equal root under S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C is our formula. Now, putting all the value in this formula, we will get the area of a triangle. Equal here, root under our value of S. Value of S is 7 centimeter. So, here comes 7 in bracket 7 minus 4.5, 7 minus 3.5, 7 minus 6. Here comes 7 into 2.5 into 3.5 into 1 root under equal 7.826 centimeter square. The area of given triangle is 7.826 centimeter square. From here, we can easily find the area of our triangle in which sides have been given here. See here, more problem. Next problem here. Given problem number 233 upon C, find the area of triangle given in adjoining figure. Adjoining figure means figure, this is our figure here, A, B, C is our figure in whose sides have been given here, 15 centimeter, 14 centimeter, 13 centimeter. From here, sides have been given, but height is not given, so we will find the area of this triangle. Given here, A equal 15 centimeter, B equal 14 centimeter, and C equal 13 centimeter. So, from formula, by formula, we know that uh, we have formula, formula of S as means semi-perimeter, semi-perimeter semi equal A plus B plus C upon 2, here comes equal 15 plus 14 plus 13 upon 2 equal 42 upon 2 equal 21 centimeter, value of S is 21 centimeter, it means 
semi perimeter is 21 centimeter now using this value of s in our next formula we will get the area of triangle by formula area of triangle a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c using value of s in this formula and all the sides will get the value of triangle area of triangle equal value of s is 21 centimeter we got already here value of s is 21 centimeter and next is 21 minus 15 side a 21 minus 14 side b 21 minus 13 side c centimeter squared equal here 21 into 6 into 7 into 8 here after subtracting 15 14 and 13 we get here 6 7 8 now multiplication of all gives here 84 centimeter square so as we can say that area of our given triangle is 84 centimeter square it means area of this triangle a b and c triangle this triangle, area of this triangle we got value 84 centimeter square subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications the problem number 234 upon a given here question a triangular field having length of sides are 42 meter 34 meter and 20 meter respectively find the area of the field now we can construct simple uh, figure simple plane figure c here triangle a b c we constructed here now value given here 42 meter 34 meter 20 meter so we can place here 42 meter 34 meter and 20 meter now assuming this triangle we will calculate the area of our field so see here here given the sides of the field are a equal 42 meter b equal 34 meter and c equal 20 meter so s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 this is our semi perimeter semi perimeter means s s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 equals 42 meter plus 34 meter plus 20 meter upon 2 whole upon 2 equal 48 meter it means our semi perimeter value of s is equal 48 meter by formula a by formula we have formula we know that our formula is a formula a a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c here subtracting all the sides from value of s the value of s is 48 meter comes here equal root under 48 in bracket 48 minus 42 48 minus 34 48 minus 20 meter square root under equal 48 into 6 into 14 into 28 this comes after subtracting 42 34 and 20 so comes here 48 into root under root under 48 into 6 into 14 into 28 meter square equal 336 meter square it means 336 meter square now we can easily say that the area of triangular field is 336 meter square or 336 meter square now the area of triangular field is 336 meter square subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications now question number 234 upon b if the length of sides of a triangular field are 41 meter 40 meter and 9 meter calculate the area of field now here also given same thing that we have to calculate the area of triangular field now length of uh, length or length or sides sides of a field given here uh, sides of a field of a triangular field given here equal a equal 41 meter b equal 40 meter c equal 9 meter now if sides have been given from using formula using different formula we can easily find the area of field see here semi perimeter semi perimeter is represented by s s equal a plus b plus c upon 2 equal 41 upon 40 plus 9 upon 2 equal 45 meter now value of s is 45 meter it means semi perimeter is 45 meter now using formula by formula area of triangular field a equal root under s s minus a s minus b s minus c meter square equal 45 
45 minus 41 meter, 45 minus 40, 45 minus 9 meter square equal 45 into 4 into 5 into 36. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. Crush that like button and do it now. Crush that like button and do it now. Smash that like button. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. If you like what you see, like and subscribe right now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe right away. Like and subscribe. If side every side is equal, then we have to find the area of triangle and perimeter also. Now see here. If equilateral triangle given, if we have provided us the equilateral triangle, then we have to find the side equilateral triangle, area of equilateral triangle, here area A equal root under 3 upon 4 A square. This is our formula. Formula of finding area of equilateral triangle. Finding of, from using this formula, we can easily find the area of our equilateral triangle. Here gives A equal B equal C sides of equilateral triangle. Here A equal B equal C means all the sides are same. So we can use anyone. We can use A or B or C. Anyone we can use. All the sides are equal of our triangle. Same thing also comes here. If equilateral triangle given, then finding the perimeter of equilateral triangle, it also comes, it becomes so simple. Here perimeter P equal 3A. Now, using these two formula, using this formula, we can find the area of equilateral triangle and using this formula perimeter, we can find the perimeter of this equilateral triangle. On getting area and perimeter, we will come to conclusion. Now, similarly, we can also see in our figure number four, that is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means here, two sides are equal. Here, given a triangle, a, B, C is a triangle in which these two sides, A and B, here B and C, both is equal, so it is represented by A and double line. Here double line given means this both side is equal, so both is represented by A. And lower one on uh, B, lower one is given with sign B. Now, if two sides of a triangle are given and third sign is unequal, then we can then we have to find the area area to find the area of isosceles triangle some formula is changed so using next formula we will easily find see here given us area to find area of our isosceles triangle given us formula a equal b upon 4 root under 4 a square minus b square now here we can say that b is base that unknown side not not similar side not similar side and here given root under 4a square a is our similar side this a and a is similar so this a and a is used here a square 4a square minus b square here b square is double one so our formula of formula for finding area of isosceles triangle finding area of isosceles triangle given us here a equal root b upon 4 a equal given as b upon 4 root under 4a square minus b square. Same perimeter of same triangle, perimeter of this isosceles triangle. Now we have to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle. See here to find the perimeter of this isosceles triangle, p equal b plus 2a. Here given our, our formula b plus 2a. In this way, getting these two formula here. Formula of equilateral triangle, 
perimeter formula of equilateral triangle that is area of equilateral triangle perimeter of equilateral triangle same thing here area of isosceles triangle perimeter of isosceles triangle getting all these four formula we will uh, calculate different problem related to area and perimeter of triangle Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. Here problem problem number 235 upon A. We are given us if the area of an equilateral triangle is 16 root 3 cm square. Find its perimeter. Here area of equilateral triangle is given. Here area of equilateral triangle is given. It means equilateral triangle means every side is equal. Every side is required. Here we can see simple, simply that side A, B, C, all the three sides are equal. Equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal. Now area of equilateral triangle given here 16 root 3 centimeter square. Now we have to find the perimeter of same triangle. See here to find here area of an equilateral triangle is 16 root 3 centimeter square by formula. We have formula we discussed ahead. Formula by formula we have area of triangle a equal root 3 upon 4 a square equal 16 root 3 or we get root 3 upon 4 a square equal 16 root 3 or here root 3 root 3 is cancelled comes here a square a square equal 64 here 4 into 16 comes here 64 or a equal 8 centimeter on getting the value of sides, each side is 8 cm. It means A equal B equal C, every side is 8 cm. Now, from on getting the sides of triangle, we can also say, we can easily calculate the perimeter of triangle, of same triangle. Now, we have also formula of perimeter. We have perimeter formula P equal 3A. Here, we got the value of A, A equal 8 cm. So, we can write here P equal 3A, 3A equal 3 into 8 centimeter equal 24 centimeter because the perimeter of triangle is 24 centimeter. Now here also we can see that area of equilateral triangle, area of equilateral triangle A equal our formula, our formula is root under 3 upon 4 A square and perimeter P equal 3 A of equilateral triangle. All these three sides and three angles are equal. In equilateral triangle, three sides and three angles, all everything is equal. So using these two formula, A equal root under three upon four into A square, this gets the value of A area. From using this formula, we get the value of A. Here A comes, A equal eight centimeter. And sim similarly, perimeter P equal three A, we got the value of perimeter P. Also, we can say that using two formula, using two formula, area formula and perimeter formula, we get here value of perimeter. Here, value of perimeter, triangle, perimeter of triangle is 24 centimeter. Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon so you can get latest video notifications. The next problem our 235 upon B, find the area of an isosceles triangle whose equal size is 5 cm and base is 6 cm. Find perimeter also. Here given us a, an isosceles triangle. Given us isosceles triangle, we can see here simply in the figure. Isosceles triangle means two sides are equal. This and this sides dotted with two lines. This and this sides is equal. From uh, simply we can know that uh, this if two sides given here length here the length of equal sides a equal 5 cm. Here length equal a equal equal size is 5 centimeter here means this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter and length of base b equal 6 centimeter it means here base is 6 centimeter by formula using formula we can say that by formula a equal a we know from beginning that area is b upon 4 root under 
4 a square minus b square using this formula we will find equal our value of b value of b here 6 so from here 6 upon 4 6 upon 4 root under 4 into 5 square means a square a is 5 so from here 5 square minus 6 b is 6 so from here 6 square 5 square minus 6 square equal 6 upon 4 root under 5 into 5 25 25 into 4 100 100 minus 36 from here 64 equal 6 upon 4 into 8 equal 12 centimeter square this is area of our isosceles triangle similarly we also find the perimeter of same triangle it means isosceles triangle whose equal sides is 5 centimeter and unequal side is that b is 6 centimeter perimeter p equal b plus 2a equal b is our 6 centimeter 6 plus 2 into 5 equal 6 plus 10 equal 16 centimeter now we can say that required area is 12 centimeter square and perimeter is 16 centimeter more of formula related to our geometrical shape geometrical shape especially plane figure plane figure we can see that figure number five figure five given us right angle triangle here our given triangle is a b c is our right angle triangle it means here is a one angle is 90 degree one angle is 90 degree in which a b is p p means perpendicular and b c is base base means is base now if triangle is right angle triangle from right angle triangle we have to find area then formula is something changed see here area of right angle, area of right angle triangle formula for finding the area of right angle triangle a equal half into base into p we can see that b is base of right angle triangle and p is height of right angle triangle perimeter of this same right angle triangle perimeter now to find the perimeter of this right angle triangle see here perimeter p equal p plus b plus root under p square plus b square that given p plus b plus root under p square plus b square here p is perimeter here p is perimeter and this p a small p is height and b is base same thing here figure number six we see here figure number six parallelogram our figure is parallelogram it means opposite sides are parallel and equal given here a b c d is our parallelogram in which this dotted line represent height and this a b represent this if in any geometrical shape if height is given here given our geometrical shape is parallelogram in to find the area of this parallelogram we see here our new formula here area area a equal base into height b into h b into h means b is base and h is height here given base a b base and our height is d and a, this dotted line represent height using these two value base and height we will find the area of parallelogram to find the perimeter of parallelogram p equal 2 into ad plus ab this is sides ab plus ad where ab and ad are sides of parallelogram here yeah. this and this side shall be used or this and this side shall be used any two sides is If our figure given figure is rhombus, then see here figure seven rhombus gives. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. Crush that like button and do it now.
crush that like button and do it now. Smash that like button. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch! Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Our geometrical shape given us rhombus. Rhombus figure 7 given us rhombus. In rhombus, all sides are equal. Side A, side B, side C, and D. Every sides are equal. Here, every sides are equal, but diagonal may be unequal. Dotted line, divergent, diagonal. A, C, joining dotted line. Line joining, dotted line joining A and C is diagonal D1, and dotted line joining B and D is diagonal 2. This may be unequal, but sides is always equal. Sides is always equal. In this figure, we have to find the area. Now, to find the area of any rhombus, to find the area of any rhombus, given us our formula, area A equal half into D1 into D2. Here D1 represents diagonal, first diagonal, and D2 represents second diagonal. Here our diagonal is this line, dotted line, this dotted line joining A and C is our first diagonal, and dotted line joining B and D is our second diagonal. Here, to find area, we shall use size of diagonal. Here, A equals half into D1 into D2. If perimeter of same rhombus shall, to find the perimeter of same rhombus, P equal any rhombus or same rhombus, we can say that this figure, in this figure, perimeter formula, P equal 4a. A is size of rhombus. Here we can say that AB equal BC, BC equal CD, CD equal AD or we can say that simply A. A means size. All sides are equal. In this way we can, using these two formula, we can find area and perimeter. This formula gives value of area, area of rhombus and this gives perimeter of rhombus. Now here see figure number 8 given us quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means Four sides. Here given us figure A, B, C, D is our quadrilateral in whose A and C dotted line joining A and C is diagonal D and here P. P is perpendicular one. Uh, perpendicular one means perpendicular one and P2 is perpendicular two means height of this dotted line A and C divides this quadrilateral into two triangle, divides this into two triangle and this P1 and P2 identifies that height of first triangle and P2 defines height of second triangle. It gives height of second triangle and this gives P1 gives the height of first triangle. Now if all these things given D, P1 and P2 if given then we can easily find the area of any quadrilateral. Now, to find the area of quadrilateral given us formula, area A equal half into D, half into D in bracket P1 plus P2. Here D means diagonal, here dotted line joining A and C is diagonal, here value of D shall be used, here half into D and here P2 and P1, perpendicular distance to the diagonal. Here, P perpendicular distance to the diagonal, it means height of this triangle and height of this triangle. Here, P1 is per uh, perpendicular distance or height of this triangle and P2 is height of this triangle. So, both shall be used. To find the area of quadrilateral, to find the area of quadrilateral, we shall use this formula half into D, P1 plus P2. Same thing here, perpendicular. Perpendicular. Here also comes not, not perpendicular, here comes perimeter. This is wrong, here comes perimeter. Same thing comes here, perimeter. The perimeter P equal AB plus BC plus C D plus D. It means sum of all sides. To find the perimeter, simply we have to make addition of all sides here. AB plus BC plus C D plus A D. Sum of all sides shall be done to find the perimeter of well, 
here now see figure 9 in figure 9 given us trapezium to find the area of trapezium to find the perimeter of trapezium here given us a b c d is our trapezium in trapezium two sides are parallel here p1 and p2 it means ad is parallel to b c here two sides is parallel and h is height of our trapezium h is height of trapezium now if any geometrical shape trapezium given geometrical shape trapezium given then to find the area of trapezium we shall use this formula see here formula area to find the area of trapezium formula given here area a equal half into height p1 plus p2 here p1 plus p2 here half height that means height p1 and p2 is parallel sides of trapezium here p1 and p2 is parallel sides it means here a d is parallel to b c and it is represented by a d is represented by p1 and b c is represented by p2 that sum of p1 and p2 shall be done and height shall be half of height is taken half into height is taken using this formula we can easily find the area of trapezium similarly we see here perimeter to find the perimeter of trapezium to find the perimeter of trapezium p equal p1 plus p2 plus ab plus cd here also given us sum of all sides simply we can say that sum of all sides for finding perimeter of any cell or here given us trapezium to find the perimeter of trapezium sum of all sides shall be done here given us a d is represented by p1 so p1 plus p2 p2 is bc is p2 so given us plus p2 and next here given ab ab as it is ab and c d sum of all sides shall be done here ab and cd is non-parallel sides of trapezium and p2 and p1 is parallel sides of trapezium here same thing comes in figure number 10 figure number 10 given us arrowhead given us arrowhead it means here geometrical shape given us a b c d here this is our figure in arrowhead figure if we have to find area of this arrowhead we shall use something new formula here we can see, simply say that area to find the area of arrowhead area a equal half into d1 into d2 here we shall know that d1 here dotted line joining b and d this is a straight line this is not a straight this is not a straight but this dotted line b and d d2 is dotted line so this d2 is used d2 here d2 is used this dotted line is used and next d1 is used d1 is a and c line joining a and c is d1 and dotted line joining b and d is d2 see so both shall be used both shall be multiplied and into half into d1 into d2 now perimeter of arrowhead here perimeter of arrowhead p p equal a b plus b c plus c d plus a d it means sum of all sides is done a b plus b c plus c d sum of all sides shall be Now our geometrical shape given us kite. Kite means here adjacent side are equal. Likewise, here we, we can see here A D equal A B. And same thing comes here D C equal B C. Here this dotted line is equal and this dotted line is equal. Now here as we can also see more line joining A and C. Line joining A and C is D1 and this dotted line joining b and d is d2 d1 and d2 now to find the area of kite area to find the area of kite a a equal half into d1 into d2 half into d1 into d2 we can say that d1 is diagonal first and d2 is diagonal second here we can say that line joining a and c is diagonal one d1 and line joining b and d is d2 here diagonal 2 also perimeter now we have to find the perimeter of this kite 
to find the perimeter of right formula given us here p equal a b plus b c plus c d plus d a we are also given same thing sum of all sides every side shall be added here a, B, subscribe C, to my channel C, B, and also C, press B, this bell icon so you can get latest video A, notifications some geometrical shape in this way we can find the area and perimeter of any geometrical shape Now here, if you like this video, if you like this video, please subscribe immediately. Subscribe immediately and press bell so that notification of new video shall be notification of new video shall be given, and everyone, every viewer shall get chance to view new video beginning of all. We are given us kite to find the area of kite. Now this is our kite, and now area to find no find the area of kite. This is our formula. In the same way, to find the perimeter of kite, this is our formula. This is our formula. This is our formula to find the area, and this is formula to find the perimeter. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you like what we do, please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that like button. C crush that like button and do it now. C crush that like button and do it now. Smash that like button. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. If you like this channel, you must subscribe now. You need to be up and subscribing to my channel now, bitch!